Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble a DVD RW to make a laser pointer. Note this has to be a DVD RW. You cannot use a DVD R, a DVD player, a PS2, anything like that. It has to be a DVD RW. And now I know I've done this video before, but I want to show you in HD and a lot less edits. So first off, we're going to take the four screws out of the bottom. And once we've done that, we need to take a pin or a paper clip, push it in here to release the drive. Once the drive is released, you need to pull it out, put two thumbs underneath it at the bottom, and push it upwards and out. That brings it off. So we can take off the faceplate. The next thing you want to do is go for the clip side to side. There's one on the left, one on the right, and one on the bottom. Now you need something more than your thumb to press these in, as I'm finding out at the moment. So I'll go get a flat blade screwdriver like this one. So get ones either side, that's the left. Uh, the bottom is more difficult, you need to actually remove the bottom plate and the right. At this point the bottom plate will just lift off. Like so. This releases the bottom clip and allows the face plate just to come off. We now have the naked DVD burner as it will lift out the other side of the case. Like so. And now we have it free, we can see the laser assembly and the drive assembly. Now the drive assembly, although fun to play with, doesn't have a laser in it. So what we'll do, we'll take these screws and we need to remove the rails that the laser assembly rides on. Once you've done that, we take the rails out and we remove them from the laser assembly and we need to take out that ribbon cable. There's no need to go for the clips, you can just pull it out. Once we've done that, we're done with the rest of the DVD burner, and we have just the laser assembly to play with. So I'll zoom my camera in, like so, so you can get a better look at it. And here we are, the laser assembly. You may think the laser is on top, but it is not. The laser is in fact underneath the copper bit on the bottom. So it's not there, it's underneath here. What we want to do is take a micro screwdriver and undo any screw you find. So first we go for the one with the white plastic on it. You need to make sure you get the right size screwdriver for this. So I'm swapping to a smaller one now. And we can now remove the screw. This gives me a point in which I can attack the copper, as the screws that are holding down the copper have solder in them. And I could remove it, but there's no point. So what I'll do, I'll take a flat blade screwdriver, and I'll prise the copper off. Now be careful not to damage the laser diodes, although damaging the optics won't do anything. This DVD burner is dead in the first place. And you want to prise this copper open. We're then going to take some wire cutters and chop off the bits around the screws. This will completely release the copper so we can get underneath it. Now the copper is thin so don't worry about your wire cutters. And we have here two laser diodes, some focusing optics which just comes out like that, and a whole lot of glue that needs to be removed. So we can see our two laser diodes, there is one just here, and one here. One of these is red, one of these is infrared, I don't know which at this moment in time. But all we need to do is remove them from the plastic, and then we'll need to remove them from its case. So to get them out, first you need to snip the ribbon cables holding them in. We'll then take a small screwdriver or a centre punch, and begin to prise them out. Now you need to remove the glue with this screwdriver, that's literally just scraping away at it. And eventually, when you've removed enough glue, you'll get a hold on the actual case of the laser diode, and you'll be able to get your screwdriver in, and just pop it out, like so. And away it went. So don't lose it, don't let it get away as well, like I did. And you'll then need to go for the other diode, and to do this, I remove the plastic around it with a pair of wire cutters again. This just gets better access to the diode. Uh, we'll then need to remove the glue again. Same procedure, use a screwdriver. And prise it out from underneath. And it just pops off. Just like that. So, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. 
In the next few weeks, I'll show you how to make a diode driver for both this and the uh, diode we took from the HD DVD.